Yeah, well, the big thing that just came out is the consensus statement uh, from the uh, uh, North American uh, Imaging and Multiple Sclerosis Group, I believe it was. Um, and so they kind of, uh, they, they published an article and created a uh, set of standardized criteria uh, as to what defines a paramagnetic rim lesion. Um, so that's been a long time coming. Uh, I think the big thing probably um, now is to look at between different centers that are doing this work. So, you know, our center is publishing some work, but also, you know, places like Johns Hopkins, uh, Cornell, Vanderbilt, and others. Um, so far, um, there really aren't any broad scale efforts to see how are we all doing, you know, these classifications of what is and what isn't a paramagnetic rim lesion and how consistent are we and how do we get more consistent. So I think that's probably the big thing to standardize them in, in terms of uh, clinical um, applicability. Um, and then also, um, you know, continued efforts to look at uh, things uh, like MRI, you know, sequences, uh, how strong of a MRI field do we need to have to see these things, uh, you know, to the degree we need to see them to put them in clinical use. So I'd say, you know, those are you know, kind of standardizing everything across uh, different centers is probably the big effort at this point.